spend so much time teaching our kids the American ethics that made this country so much better than every other nation before it. Equal justice is another thing that's essential in democracy. Honesty, truth, justice. More like a justice league. We were together, now is nothing. Liberty and justice for all. But then we grow up. Hopes were so high. You were standing so tall. Boys' lessons don't fit with man's desires. Broken my heart. Made for the pieces to fall. And for the rest of us, we just turn a blind eye. No evidence of wrongdoing tied to his son Hunter Biden's Ukraine business has actually been found. Justice for some. Sometimes it takes a lot of testing to find the truth. And justice for all just disappears. I'm sick and tired of it. No, not tired. Exhausted. Exhausted of year after year watching the elite, our elected officials, try to control us like puppets in a kid's play. No, 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 no. They lie, they cheat, manipulate, steal. Steal from us, the very people who put them there. We gave them their power, and now they'll do anything to keep it by lying, cheating, manipulating, stealing, and now destroying the leader that Americans went and fought hard for and elected. Defend the Constitution, so help me God. And what used to be behind closed curtains, now right in front of us, they just laugh at us. <laughs> a credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump. For them. <laughs> they cheer for the most divisive outcome we have seen in how long? Article 1 is adopted. Smiling to each other as their master plan gets further and further to final fruition. They, they started this on day one of Trump. Bullies don't win because we're going to go in there we're going to impeach them. And as each attempt to regain power and control failed, a new plan was hatched and all centered around now a July 25th phone call. Good pro quo. Trump has been at the center of this Democratic impeachment. No, no, now it's bribery. No political investigation. No, he wants to bring Biden down. He does not want to run against me. No, he's going to steal the 2020 election. He should go Oval Office. This is all a bunch of bull. And we now have everything. The final piece of the puzzle to prove to you how much bull crap they've been shoveling. Tonight, I'm going to connect all the pieces and show you. We'll show using actual evidence. Every claim that they made about Donald Trump in Ukraine is a lie, and I will show you the documentation. They told you this. Was the allegation that you had created a do not prosecute list true? Well, we showed you this. Lusenko states to the Ukrainian news site, the babble. She said, dictate a list of involatile persons. They said this. Vice President Biden called for the removal of Mr. Shokin because of his failure to adequately combat corruption. But we proved them wrong with this. Here's what Shokin states. I was forced out because I was leading a wide-ranging corruption probe into Burisma Holdings. Again and again and again as their mask came off. Their deception became unhinged. I can't understand your being so calm about having a thief on your team. Where is the justice? He didn't do the things they're saying he did. They'll drag anybody through the dirty, corrupt avenues of Washington, D.C. Donald Trump likely is going to survive this battle. Not guilty as charged. Battle against a crooked and immoral group of people in D.C. who have plagued our nation's power for far too long. At the end of the day, this isn't about Donald Trump. 
Because if the power elite are this desperate to destroy the most powerful man in the world and they can get away with it, what would they do to you? But have hope. I've always heard that honesty is the best policy. In a very American act, another group of citizens who have been lied to, ignored by their government, belittled and treated with contempt, they had decency and relentless perseverance, and they just broke the back of one of the world's most powerful bodies. But what we proved is the British are too big to bully, thank goodness. America, it's our turn, but we start with the facts.